In this video, we are going to discuss one problem on sequence director. So the question is, design a sequence deductor which produce output one whenever a overlapping sequence of one zero one is detected using a Miele state machine. So, so the given problem is you have to deduct the one zero one sequence. So, what is overlapping sequences? Suppose um, um, we are getting the sequence like this: zero one zero one zero 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 zero. 1 0 1 0 1 so like this uh, we are generating a sequence so whenever uh, 0 1 0 1 is uh, achieved the output will be 1 here ok so you can see after that um, 1 0 1 you will get the output for this uh, 3 bit ok again you can see this 1 0 1 is overlap with the sequence ok so again one will be produced so this is called as a overlapping sequence okay so for that one you have to design a mille state machine for designing a mille state machine so number of bits is three so you have to draw three circle okay then <coughs> you have to write one zero okay why because it start from one then zero okay so I am going to assign a value for this one. This is as A, this one as B and this one as C. <coughs> okay. So now what is the value of A? Value of A is 0 because since um, if the input is 1, it is going to B. So definitely the A value is uh, 0. So, if it is 0 and so if it is 0, it should be in A because the value of A is 0. So, what is the value of B? So, here <coughs> the B value is uh, 1, right? Because uh, you can see A value is 0. So, that is why it is uh, it's in A and uh, if it is 1, it goes to B. So, the B value is 1, okay? If it is 1, 0, it goes to C. So, uh, C value is 1, 0. Okay. So, since uh, if, if the input is 1, it goes to B. If input is 0, it goes to A because A value is 0. Likewise, B value is 1. If it is 0, it goes to C. If the input is 0, it goes to C. If it is 1, it will remain in the same state. Okay. So, till now uh, the, uh, the sequence is deducted? No, because it goes from 1 to 0, okay, 1 and 0. So, till now the sequence is not deducted. So, the output is 0, okay, till now. So, uh, from 1, 0, next one is either it, be, it will be 1, so C value is 1, 0. Now, it goes to, it, uh, it goes from 1, 0, 0, it goes either to 1, 0, 0, it goes to 1, 0, 0, okay, next uh, state. So, 1, 0, 0 means, um, so you remove the first, uh, first bit, okay, if, if I remove the first bit, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, it is not there because a value is 0, b value is 1, c value also 0. So, if I remove the another bit 0, so it will goes to 
zero okay so it will goes to zero okay so the output is zero because one zero zero only i am getting next one zero one okay next value is one zero one okay so you remove the first bit if i remove the first bit uh, the value is zero one okay zero one zero one is uh, not available in anywhere okay next um next bit you remove so you will get one so one means uh, it goes to c b okay so one one because for one zero one the output is detected right so this is how you have to design a overlapping sequence okay so next one is a non overlapping sequence One zero one, the same uh, sequence I need to detect. So here also the same three circle. Since it is a Miller machine, so one zero. So I have to write one zero A B C. Okay. Since it is one, it goes to B. If it is zero, it will remain in the same state till now. The output is not detected. Okay. So if it is zero, it goes to C. If it is one, it will remain in b itself okay so if next one is 101 okay 10 either it will goes to 10 it will goes to 101 and it goes to 100 okay so c value is now 10 okay so if i remove if i remove 101 In zero one it goes to p values uh, one and uh, c values uh, sorry a values zero a value zero so next uh, zero one is not available and uh, in you see the output is directed right one zero one so therefore it goes to a that is reset state okay first state next uh, for uh, one if i remove uh, one it will not be available so zero it will goes again to a okay so zero bar zero so what is the only difference is uh, you can see um, this one one okay one bar one one bar one instead of going to b it has to go to a okay there will be only one change uh, with um, with those these two values okay so whenever the code is detected in the non overlapping sequence it has to go to the reset state that is the initial state okay so that is the only change since so instead of for one 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 bar one instead of going to b it is going to a so this is the only change so from this one uh, you can uh, plot the uh, state table right uh, for non overlapping sequence so if um, the initial state is a if x is equal to 0 and x is equal to y sorry x is equal to 1 so if x is equal to 0 it goes to a if x is equal to 1 it goes to b next b c right b c if x is equal to 0 it goes to c and b for c both the ones are going to a okay 
so for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 what is the value of z okay so z does uh, for 1 1 only it is uh, showing the output right so for everything it is 0 for 1 1 it is 1 okay so after that you have to go for the state assignment State reduction is not possible, so I am going for the state assignment. I am going to assign A as 0, 0, B as 0, 1, C as 1, 0. zero, zero, zero 1 and 1, 0. This is A, A right? So those are your inputs. Uh, input. Next, uh, you can use either D flip flop or JK flip flop, any flip flop to implement this uh, um, the state table and you can plot the logic diagram.